Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to discuss about tautological implications. So we are already discussing about discrete mathematical structures in that we already discussed about what is tautology, what is um, contradiction and what is contingency. Now we will discuss what is what are tautological implications. Okay, so previously we discussed about uh, logical equivalence, how LHS is logically equivalent to RHS. So now, uh, like that, we have tautological implications also. So, before, uh, but before going to explain that concept, so those who are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel, please share my videos to your friends and well-wishers, and please support our channel in all possible ways. So, coming to our topic, uh, which is tautological implications. Okay, so what is tautology? So tautology is the thing in which everything is true. What is contradiction? If everything results in false, it's a contradiction. If everything results in true, it's a tautology. So tautological implication. So how it implies? How LHS is tautologically implied to RHS? So let's see the definition first of all. Statement formula. So what is the statement formula? For example, if I say... Uh, it rains today. So that's a statement, right? That's an English sentence. So we'll make that as a proposition. So for example, if I say P colon, it rains today. So P is a statement. So like that, what is the formula then? So I have some Q. I will use umbrella. So P and Q. So if I use connectives to connect two statements, then it is said to be a formula, statement formula, right? So a statement formula is nothing but having different statements and connecting each other. So that's called statement formula. Okay, now let's see the definition here. Statement formula A is tautologically implied of B if and only if A implies B is a tautology. If and only if A implies B is a tautology. So let's see the definition once again. Statement formula A is tautologically implied to uh, of B if and only if A implies is a tautology. Right. So let's see an example. So here the one thing we should remember is for example if they give like this. LHS double implies RHS. Sorry, LHS implies RHS. So here, this is not a connective, remember. This is not a connective, it's just a symbol. In a tautological implication, here LHS is one statement formula, RHS is one statement formula. Here we are proving that whether LHS is tautologically implied to RHS, that's it. Yeah, this one is not a connective. This one is just a symbol. Okay? And finally, we should yield a truth value. LHS, if LHS is RHS, finally we should get all true values, which is called a tautology. So that's what we should prove here. Okay? So remember, this implies is not a connective. It's just a symbol. Okay? Now, I have uh, two problems here. The first one is P implies Q. We should prove that tautologically implied to negation Q implies negation P. Okay, let's construct a truth table. Okay, so let's take the first one here. P implies Q. Okay, so first P, I should consider a truth table. P, Q, P implies Q. Okay, so this is the first statement formula we have. So what about RHS? A negation Q, negation P we have. So negation P, negation Q, negation Q implies negation P. 
right? And finally, this entire one. So let me consider this as capital X. Let me consider this as capital Y. Now I should show X tautologically implied to Y. Finally, I should get all trues. If both LHS and RHS are true, uh, both are same, then I should write all trues, which is nothing but tautology. Why? Because it's a tautologically implication. Okay? So here I have only two P and Q, only two variables. So I will get 2 power n, that is 2 power 2, 4 truth values. Okay? So true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Right? Now what is P implies Q? So while discussing, I already said P implies Q is if both are true, if both are false, write true. In true, true, write true. In false, false, also write true. It's a shortcut. In P implies Q. In true, true, write true. In false, false, also write true. And P implies Q. After arrow mark, we have Q. Okay, after arrow mark, we have Q. So write the truth values which are having for Q. Okay, so P implies Q. After symbol, after implication symbol, we have Q. So write the truth values which we have for Q. False and true. So write here. False and true. It's very easy to remember. So this is P implies Q. Now write negation P. Negation P true. True means false, false. False, false means true, true. So negation Q. False, true, false, true. Okay. So I have negation P and negation Q as well. Now negation Q implies negation P. It's not negation P implies negation Q. It's negation Q implies negation P. So first what I said, if we have false false right true, if we have true true also right true first. So I have false false right true. Here I have true true right true. In remaining all cases I have uh, combinations. Now here negation Q implies negation P. So after this implies symbol I have negation P. So what values do we have in negation P? Just straight away write that values. So I have false and true. So write false and true. Okay. So finally, let's check whether X and Y are same or not. In X, I got true, false, true, true. I got true, false, true, true. In Y, I got true, false, true, true. Then both are logically impl implied or not. Both are same. So finally, I will write all tautology. Why? Because both are same. Okay. So finally, I will get X implies, uh, X is tautologically implied to Y. So this is tautological implication. By taking an example, for the first example. The second example I have, negation Q and P implies Q and I should prove that to negation P. Okay? So let me take this. So what is my second example here? I have PQ, I should write negation P, negation Q, negation Q and, sorry, I should write P implies Q and I should write negation Q and P implies Q, okay? Finally, I should equate that to, uh, uh, let us assume this as X, okay? And what is my Y? My Y is negation P. Okay, so X implies Y, sorry, X tautologically implies Y. Okay, so forget about this negation P, we will write there. So now, so true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Okay, so what is negation Q here? False, true, false, true. Now, P implies Q. So true true we should write true, false false also will write true and after implication symbol we have Q, write the values of Q that is false, true. So we got true false, true true, right. Now negation Q and P implies Q. So what is and? If both are true then only true, remaining all cases false. So false, false, false and finally true. So what I said? If both are true, then only true. Remaining all cases, false. Right? 
uh, negation q and p implies q okay so false false true false true false 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 true false true 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 now negation p so what is negation p false false true true now let's see so what do we got in uh, negation q and p implies q i got false 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 true okay for negation p what i got false false true true are both same no so what you will write i will write all false why because they are not tautologically implicated okay if both are tautologically implicated i should write all trues if both are not tautologically implicated i should write all false okay so i hope you understood tautological implications so those who are watching my channel for the first time i request you to please subscribe my channel and please share my videos to your friends and well wishers and please support our channel in all possible ways thank you thank you very much and have a wonderful day